a long time now, there's been a consensus among firearms enthusiasts that the 9mm is the best of all pistol calibers for concealed carry for four major reasons. 1. Dimensions. The 9mm's diameter allows for compact pistols to fit anywhere from 15 to 18 rounds in the mag. Its overall length is also shorter than all pistol calibers except the 380 ACP, so pistols chambered for it won't need a thick grip. Unlike handguns chambered for taller cartridges like the 45 ACP, the 38 Super, or the FN 57 by 28 mm. Two price. The most affordable centerfire cartridge ammo on the market has been the 9 mm for as long as I can remember. Three ballistics. The 9 mm may not be as powerful as the 10 mm. But it has non-negligible ballistics thanks to its case rated for SAMI pressures of up to 35,000 PSI. And 4. Terminal Performance A few years after the 1986 FBI Miami shootout, bullet designs with superb terminal performance started appearing out of nowhere. Hydroshocks, black talons, and golden sabers became standard carry ammo in many law enforcement circles and before we knew it, terms like bonded bullets, controlled expansion, and fluted bullets had all been added to our lexicon. If you've only carried a 45 ACP or a 40 Smith & Wesson pistol in the last 20 years and you're suddenly in a situation where you can only carry one in 9mm, you can rest assured that it will get the job done and then some. But don't you sometimes get bored with the 9mm? I know I do. Hi, this is Mike Romentus. In this video, I'll talk about my top 8 high capacity carry guns of 2023, which will include pistols in 45 ACP, 40 Smith & Wesson, 9mm, two new tiny but relatively powerful pistol calibers, and one touted as the highest velocity semi-auto pistol caliber in the world. Stick around, you don't want to miss any of this. Just as a quick disclaimer, I won't talk about guns chambered for obscure cartridges like the 9x23 Winchester, the 9x25 Dillon, or even the somewhat popular but still obscure 38 Super as there are very few people who care about those cartridges. With that out of the way, let's begin. Number 8, the Glock 21. The Glock 21 is one of the bigger handguns on this list because of its chambering. It wasn't originally going to make it here because I'm biased towards the FNX 45 Tactical which holds the record for having the highest ammo capacity out of all handguns chambered in 45 ACP using factory mags. Because it has a lot of features typically only found in custom-made pistols, the FNX 45 Tactical with its $1,379 MSRP offers better value than even some custom guns in 45 ACP like the 2011s being made by Staccato. But there's a bit of a problem with the FNX 45 Tactical. With its 15-round mag inserted, its overall height is 6.3 inches. The Glock 21 by comparison is only 5.51 inches tall with its 13 round mag inserted. That's a difference of almost 8 tenths of an inch, which on paper doesn't look like much, but it could mean the difference between your CCW printing or staying concealed. The Glock 21 also gets props for being much more wallet friendly than the FNX 45 Tactical with its MSRP of only $547 and street prices in the $470 range. Number 7, the Glock 22. The Glock 22 is being touted by the company as, quote, by far the most popular police service pistol in the United States. If you've heard of the story of the 40 Smith & Wesson and how this cartridge is closely tied to the 9mm, the 10mm, and the feds, you'd understand why Gaston markets the Glock 22 toward law enforcement. The 40 Smith & Wesson, in my opinion, isn't exactly impractical, but it's an odd duck, the neglected middle child of the pistol caliber's bunch. It's a compromise between the 45 ACP and the 9mm, which means it has a rather tiny niche to fill. Compared to the Glock 21, the Glock 22 has an ammo capacity of 15 rounds and its height is only 5.47 inches with the mag inserted, four hundredths of an inch shorter than the Glock 21. It may not be significantly easier to conceal than the Glock 21, but the two additional rounds in the mag make it a somewhat better proposition. It's also slightly more affordable, with an MSRP of only $499 and street prices within the $400 range. 
If you don't like pistols chambered in 9mm for some reason, and you think the 45 ACP has too much recoil, the Glock 22 may be a great option. Number 6, the Taurus G3X. Taurus has been stepping up their game since a few years ago after paying millions of dollars to settle a class action lawsuit filed against them in 2016. I briefly touched on it in one of my recent videos. If you'd like to check it out, I'll leave the link in the description. The G3X is Taurus's answer to the Glock 45, which I'll talk more about later. The G3X is a hybrid polymer frame pistol chambered in 9mm and is what you get when you combine the compact frame of the Taurus G3 which allows for a magazine capacity of 15 rounds and the subcompact slide and 3.2 inch barrel of the Taurus G3C which makes the gun easier to carry concealed. With its 15 round mag inserted, the G3X's overall height measures only 5.2 inches, making it just a hair's breadth taller than other more expensive brand name handguns on this list. But as with all Taurus firearms, the best thing about the G3X is its price. Taurus pistols under the G3 line have earned a reputation as some of the company's most reliable polymer frame budget pistols yet. With an MSRP of $342.98 and street prices within the $240 range, you get literally more bang for your hard-earned buck with the Taurus G3X. Number 5. The Rock Island Armory MAPP 22 TCM 9R Rock Island Armory is a sub-brand of a firearms and ammo manufacturer in the Philippines, Armscore. Armscore is widely known in the United States for its affordable ammo and budget 1911s. While Rock Island Armory 1911s are nowhere near as polished as Kimber 1911s, they're also nowhere near as expensive and still highly reliable for their low price. The company's MAPP pistols aren't any different than their 1911s besides the fact that they're based on another widely copied all-steel hammer-fired platform, the CZ-75. The particular MAPP subcompact on this list has an MSRP of $430 and is chambered in 22 TCM 9R, a proprietary cartridge by Arms Corps based on the 22 TCM or Tuasan Craig Micro Magnum, also another proprietary cartridge by Arms Corps. The 22 TCM is essentially a weaker cut down 223 Remington designed for 1911 style pistols. It is basically superior to the 57 by 28 mm despite having a shorter overall length. Out of a 5 inch 1911 style pistol barrel, a 40 grain 22 TCM bullet can achieve a velocity of around 2100 feet per second which equates to 392 foot pounds of force at the muzzle. To make the 22 TCM fit inside standard 9mm magazines like those of Glock, Armscore cut it down further, made the bullet a tad bit lighter, and gave it the designation 9R. The 22 TCM 9R uses a 39 grain bullet, which out of the MAPP's 3.66 inch barrel can reach a velocity of 1800 feet per second and a muzzle energy of 280 foot pounds of force. The MAPP's height of only 5.31 inches can fit 16 22 TCM 9R rounds, making it a much better CCW platform than anything chambered in 5.7x28mm as far as price and performance. Number 4. The Springfield Hellcat When SIG released their P365 subcompact in 9mm some 4 years ago, there was nothing like it. It had a really thin frame and grip with a short 3.1 inch barrel, an overall height of only 4.3 inches, and a 10 round capacity. The company made aftermarket 12 round extended mags available and shortly after, 15 round aftermarket mags were also made available. The SIG P365 is a great CCW as it is much easier to conceal and holds more rounds in the mag than its direct competitor of the time, the Glock 43. With an MSRP of $600 and street prices in the $500 range, the P365 isn't terribly priced, but with its 15 round mag inserted, it has an overall height of 5.5 inches, which these days is kind of meh. Not too long ago after the SIG P365 was released, a number of companies started to offer pistols similar to it. In 2019, Springfield introduced their Hellcat which had a 3 inch barrel and an overall height of only 4 inches with its 11 round mag inserted. 
Springfield offered 13-round aftermarket mags and later 15-round aftermarket mags as well. The Springfield Hellcat instantly dethroned all competition when it came out and to date has the highest mag capacity out of all subcompact pistols relative to its height. With a 15 round mag inserted, it has an overall height of only 4.75 inches, 3 quarters of an inch shorter than the Sig P365. The Hellcat isn't without its downsides though. Some owners complain that the Hellcat's trigger blade safety sometimes binds, which doesn't seem to be a major concern for the majority, but it's priced about the same as the Sig P365. In my opinion, it should be around $100 cheaper. If you can find it for $500 or less, you should go for it. Number 3, the Glock 45. You didn't really think I was going to stop with the Glock 22, did you? When the company announced the Glock 45 in 2019, it was a breath of fresh air to some people. To others, it was a solution to a non-existent problem. I talked about the Taurus G3X earlier, a pistol that combines the shorter slide and barrel of the smaller Taurus G3C with the frame of the larger G3. The Glock 45 is the same, concept-wise, but it predates the Taurus G3X by more than a year, and you know what they say about imitation being the sincerest form of flattery. If the concept isn't worth imitating, then Taurus never would have made the G3X. So why is the Glock 45 the third pistol on this list? It combines the Glock 19's subcompact slide and 4-inch barrel with the Glock 17's full-size frame which is only 5.47 inches tall with its 17-round mag inserted. The Glock 45 is only 27 hundredths of an inch taller than the Taurus G3X but it has two additional rounds in the mag. Its only downside compared to the G3X is its price. It has an MSRP of $539 and street prices within the $450 range. But with Glock's reputation for reliability, you will get what you pay for. Number 2, the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus in 30 Super Carry. Everyone knows the Shield Plus. It's number 2 on my list because of two things. One, it has an overall height of only 4.6 inches with its mag inserted. And two, it's available in an intriguing new pistol caliber, the 30 Super Carry. The version of the Shield Plus in 9mm only has room for 13 rounds, while the version in 30 Super Carry has room for 16. That's a 23% difference in ammo capacity favoring the 30 Super Carry, but... What is the 30 Super Carry? In a nutshell, it's a 100 grain 31 caliber bullet that is thinner than the 9mm but is also loaded to much higher pressures. It won't make as big of a hole as the 9mm but it's only roughly 42 thousandths of an inch smaller in diameter while having practically the same ballistics as standard pressure 115 grain 9mm out of the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield Plus's 3.1 inch barrel. Crunching the numbers, a 30 Super Carry bullet's diameter is 313 thousandths of an inch, only 11.8% smaller than a 9mm bullet diameter, which measures 355 thousandths of an inch. But the 30 Super Carry has a pressure rating of 52,000 psi, which is 48.57% higher than the 9mm. Add the 23% ammo capacity advantage, and the 30 Super Carry can be quite appealing. If you're willing to carry a pistol chambered in this interesting new caliber, the Shield Plus and 30 Super Carry has an MSRP of $549 with street prices in the $449 range. Number 1, the FK Burnell PSD. And lastly, we get to talk about my number 1 high capacity carry gun, the FK Burnell PSD. If you didn't know, there was this controversial Magnum class pistol that was making the rounds online sometime half a decade ago called the FK Field Pistol. It was designed and built by a firearms manufacturer called FK Berno from the Czech Republic. The Czechs have designed some of the best firearms in the world, among which is the CZ-75 pistol that I touched on earlier. Those were designed by a state-owned firearms manufacturer called Česká Zbrojovka. The FK Field Pistol resembled the CZ-75 and was chambered for a proprietary cartridge called the 7.5 FK, which was designed by the same company. 
Out of the field pistol 6 inch barrel, a 95 grain 7.5 FK bullet can reach speeds of up to 2,000 feet per second, which amounts to 844 foot pounds of force at the muzzle. That is entry level 44 Magnum ballistics out of a pistol with a 15 round mag. The FK field pistol didn't catch on because there were only 1,001 of those made and each was prohibitively priced at $7,500 a piece. But there were a ton of people who expressed interest, myself included, such that the company decided to build a more affordable version. In 2020, the FK Bernal PSD was released. The company used polymer for the frame to make it a bit more budget-friendly and shortened the barrel to 5.3 inches but added one more round in the mag. With its 16-round mag inserted and without the proprietary ring sights installed, the gun's overall height is only 5.3 inches. This makes it the most powerful high-capacity production pistol in the world that can be carried concealed. The only downside is it'll still be fairly pricey to a lot of people. But if an FNX 45 Tactical's $1,379 MSRP is somewhat acceptable, the FK Berno PSD's $1,950 MSRP isn't so bad considering it comes with a 10mm barrel out of the box. You technically get two different pistols for the price of one. And that's it for my top 8 high capacity carry guns of 2023. There were other carry guns you think I should have included in the video. You can let me know by commenting down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And click on that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new content. And as always, thanks for watching.